know, whenever I look into these episodes, whenever I get the chance to review them in occasions like this, it really shows that the supporting characters are willing to make me entertain and sympathize with them, even though that they've done much more better in other episodes. Because, as much as I'm not a fan of regular show, the fact that this show didn't went into decline when it comes to 8 seasons, despite with problems along the way, removing this show from Max is another mistake. Because at this point, I'm really really getting sick and tired of these corporate decisions. So, the beginning of the episode is while Pops is trying to relax with the nature all around him, but unfortunately, he isn't the one with nature. After watching a beach commercial, this gave Pops inspiration on to be the one with nature by surfing the man in the commercial. But then he encounters Hall and his gang, who make fun of him, and after messing up the big wave for them, this leads to Pops being in a position where he can't be able to be the one with nature, since that the wave that he's trying to do is really, really complicated, since that he isn't a surfer like Hall in the gang. And his goal of becoming the one with nature by surfing, which he failed by messing up her and the others who were surfing. It takes a lot of time and knowledge on him being the one with nature. But at the same time, he goes a little overboard to the point that he would get to, he would get seriously hurt due to the nature of surfing in this show. And judging that this is regular show we're talking about, a lot can happen. After getting the assistance from Molokai and Rigby when it comes to them renting a wave machine for Pops to work with, he was this close to getting himself killed while getting an injury in the process. And there was no other way for him to be the one with nature, but he's relentless. Pops being the one with nature, since I've seen him in a few appearances and main focuses from this show, even if I didn't watch the majority of it, him being in this position, he just wants to experience a lot more in the outdoors. Like, in the beginning, we see that he was enjoying himself, but animals were attacking him and he didn't have the best luck when it comes to the one with nature. And when he goes on to the beach, by enjoying himself, only for him to mess up the surfing techniques from her and the others. This is literally Pops just trying everything in order to be the one with nature by doing the most complicated techniques when it comes to the one with nature. Like, I'm starting to understand that the, that the people who relate to Pops in this is the fact that they want to do a lot more in the outdoors when it comes to surfing or basically anything that is complicated as what Pops is doing in this episode. And believe me, I know full well that it will be complicated to do a perfect surf that, that you're on a wave, which is going to be a lot more complicated if you know the techniques of surfing. But when it comes to Pops, who desperately wants to be the one with nature, and the fact that he's doing all this despite nearly gain himself killed or get a huge injury, it really shows. Believe me, it's impossible to solve correctly. To the point that, when it comes to people who do solve, they have more knowledge on the beach and surfing in the waters after practicing multiple times. And considering that Pops never practice whatsoever, only until the middle of the episode, sums up a lot on the fact that Hall and the others, even though that they're the, that they're the, that they're the antagonists in this episode, they're still professional surfers in comparison to Pops. Granted, they use the wave machine and turn on into Fall Max, but as far as I'm concerned, Pop, they're just trying way too hard to make themselves better, but at the same time, they're unintentionally making Pops better since that he did the perfect wave and being the one with nature. I'm gonna be perfectly honest with you. Whenever you have a character that is getting the upper hand, 
thanks to the antagonists making things worse but only giving you the upper hand. It's really saying something that Pops really did the impossible with the assistance of the antagonists. Though then again, the antagonists from this show can go overboard, which Hall and the others did in this, but when it comes to the other antagonists, they just take control of reality and just make it their own reality against the other characters. Let's be real. If we just ignore on how the other characters had to rebuild the entire neighborhood after being demolished due to this huge wave and just focus on Pops being the one with nature, you really have a good episode. And not really an episode that is supposed to be taking itself seriously unless if you're Pops in this scenario. If you ask me, if this ever happened in the real world, despite logic being thrown out the window. I'm pretty sure anyone will probably accept the challenge on trying to be the one with nature like Pops in this episode. Although, when it comes to having some reality into the mix, there was a lot explaining on how to repair the damages and the, and the destruction that has been destroyed due to the wave machine going on on full max due to her causing it to be in full max. Sometimes this world, sometimes the world's built in this can do whatever it wants, but it just reminds me on how that this is an early 2010s cartoon. Mainly of how Cartoon Network is rebuilding itself on doing more cartoons in favor of doing live action shows. Because as far as I'm concerned, this is a prime example of Cartoon Network starting up strong after the 2000s came to an end. So I really enjoyed this episode, and the fact that Pops really makes this episode worthwhile. If you enjoy surfing, you will enjoy this episode. I'm giving this episode an 8 out of 10. Thank you.